Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Roman from Built by Colossus and today we're going to go over what I think makes for good facial topology when it comes to rigging the face. Okay, first things first, whenever I get a fresh model from the modeler, I want to make sure that the face is in the most neutral pose possible. So that means he's not smiling, he's not blinking, he's not frowning, he's just looking deadpan straight at you like this guy is. And this means that I won't be restricted to anything I can do when it comes to rigging the face. It's a blank slate. Secondly, I want to make sure that smooth preview is definitely turned off. I want a true representation of what the verts are doing when I start to rig. When I'm happy with those things, I zoom into the eyelid. First thing I do with the eyelid is I make sure that there's a span on the top of the lid to match the bottom all the way across. And this just ensures that when he blinks like so, there's a span to match the top and the bottom as it goes down. It just makes for a smooth blink. And having enough resolution in the eyelid means that you can also make sure that from top to bottom there's enough spans to cover that blink. When I'm happy with that, I make sure that there's definitely an inner and an outer edge loop, which will dictate to me where I should blink from, as you can see. With those things ticked, I go down to the mouth and a bit like the eyelid, I make sure there are sufficient edge loops around the mouth and I make sure that the mouth is closed. And to make sure it's closed, I just zoom in and I just see that the bottom lip is slightly overlapping the top lip. You definitely don't want the mouth to be slightly open in the bind pose. You don't want the animator to have to go and every time they animate the character, pull the lips back down to close the mouth. When I'm happy with that, I want to move up to the eyebrows. And with the eyebrows at the bare minimum, I want to make sure that the topology matches one-to-one -one with whatever the head is doing beneath it. If there's more resolution in the eyebrow, the better, but at the bare minimum, I want to make sure that the eyebrow will follow one-to-one -one with whatever the flesh is doing on the head. When I'm happy with the brows, I just want to make sure there's sufficient resolution in the forehead so the eyebrows can lower to the eyes and can also raise. And yep, this looks fine. After that, I want to make sure that all the stars that cause bad artifacts when you start to move the mesh are in spots that aren't going to affect too much. So the temple isn't going to move too much when the face is moving around. Around the, no around the nose isn't going to move too much. Around the jaw isn't going to move too much. Just spots around the face that aren't going to be affected by the ranges of motion. Yeah, in a nutshell, that's my quick overview of what I look for in facial topology before I even start to rig the face. Hope it brought you some value and I hope to see you guys super soon. Cheers.